ABC News Summer Thursday continues. Once again, Kevin Newman. Do you know what to do during a lightning storm? How to protect yourself? What to teach your children? Lightning can literally strike out of the blue. Too often, it is deadly, a devastating occurrence, and too few of us know what to do if lightning threatens. 2020's Bob Brown got some incredible footage, unbelievable stories, and lessons from people who were struck by lightning and survived. The flash was so blinding. It was, I thought it was an explosion because it was such a blinding flash of lightning, a concussion. I just heard this sound, and I thought I'd been shot. And then my tongue started sizzling and popping like it was like frying bacon. Well, at first I thought she was dead. It was very, uh, really scary. He couldn't speak when we got back. All he could say was lightning, lightning, lightning. Even when the storms are distant and you can barely hear the thunder tremble, they are dangerous. Lightning can strike from miles away. Its temperature is more than 50,000 degrees, four times as hot as the surface of the sun. And when it strikes, it generates that heat in a millionth of a second. This incredible view from the space shuttle shows the constant flickers of lightning from what researchers estimate are 16 million thunderstorms over our planet each year. Lightning is a leading cause of weather-related deaths, responsible for more fatalities than tornadoes or hurricanes. Financial losses from lightning strikes are estimated as high as $2 billion per year, not only in damage to homes and businesses, but also to natural resources. The sensation of lightning building up in the air is sometimes unmistakable. As it gets closer to the Earth, it begins to electrify everything on the Earth or reference to the Earth. And that's the buzzing noise or the sound of uh, bacon frying, some people say. The electric field can be felt by people. Your hair stands up on end. A lightning strike occurred around five minutes after these pictures were taken in California's Sequoia National Park. But the warnings often aren't as obvious. And in such cases, the effects can be devastating. I'm a funny-looking dinosaur. Jenna Bernardo was active in gymnastics and dance, soccer and softball. She played so well that at the age of seven, she was the youngest member of a softball team that was practicing in Lighthouse Point, Florida in May of 1995. The sun was still shining with clouds visible far to the north of this field when a bolt of lightning struck. Other team members were knocked down, but Jenna, standing at second base, was hit directly in the abdomen. She went into full cardiac arrest and suffered permanent brain damage before her breathing could be restored. Well, she's not going to get any better than she is right now. Um, there's no hope for that. So we're just going to keep her comfortable, basically. Her mother, Michelle, says the storm didn't seem to pose a danger at the time. There was a storm, but it was quite a ways off. But apparently, and if we would have had these lightning monitors that all the Lighthouse Point Recreation people do have now, we would have known because they'd measure the static electricity in the air. Since Jenna was struck, lightning monitors have been installed at the field where she was playing. Because the monitors detect static in the air, the danger from lightning can be identified more quickly, even if the storm clouds are still miles away, as they were when Jenna was struck. One of the places most familiar with the medical after effects that victims suffer is the Lightning Data Center at St. Anthony Central Hospital in Denver, where neurologists Michael Charrington and Phil Yarnell have studied the cases of dozens of strike victims. You want to show us? Can you, can you lift your arms up? Can you, can you hold them up to the side? And just People who've been struck by lightning can have their hearts stopped. And we have, tragically, patients who are paralyzed because their spinal cord was damaged or people who are brain damaged because the brain has been affected. Now, what does a witness see when they see someone get struck by lightning? A loud flash. That's what they see. And then the person being down. They may sometimes see arcing from the person's body seeming to rise up. The incident you just saw was captured by an amateur cameraman at a rodeo in Valley County, Idaho, in 1995. This is how it unfolded. You can see Philip Bowl, one of the rodeo's participants, standing on this wagon near a metal bar. 
He was in that position holding the bar when a lightning bolt hit it. The camera barely registered the split second of the strike. But that one bolt, because lightning radiates outward, killed Philip Bowl, injured 12 people, and knocked over several horses as the electrical charge passed onto the metal in their shoes. In the panic afterwards, you can hear people wondering where to go. In your truck. Getting into a closed truck or car was the correct action to take. Because lightning will travel around, but not through the metal body of a vehicle. In one highly publicized incident in May of 1991, 15-year-old Noah Eig was killed and 10 others were injured when lightning struck during a rain delay in a lacrosse game at St. Albans High School in Washington. Eig had been leaning against a tree during the storm, and trees are among the most likely targets for lightning because of their height. The bolt is conducted through the tree and can strike anyone standing nearby. Some adults who were walking out with me, they're like, you shouldn't be under a tree. They pointed to that same tree. I came back, and that was the one that was hit. Where does lightning strike most often? The answer is in the state of Florida, which experiences 70 to 100 days of thunderstorm activity each year and accounts for roughly 8% of the injuries and fatalities from lightning. Western states are close behind, with 60 days of thunderstorms in an average year in Colorado. Because of the popularity of outdoor recreation, the profile of a typical lightning strike victim has changed over the years. The lightning casualties we're seeing now are mostly people who are at play. In the early part of the century, it was largely people who were at work, farmers, ranchers. These days, an estimated one in every 12 lightning strike victims is hit while playing golf, often because they take shelter under trees or are near metal objects which conduct electricity, such as golf carts and clubs. Shirley Jacobs was holding a putter when she was struck. She doesn't remember it, but her husband Chuck does. Just a big pow, and it was, you know, it was not thunder. But when I got to Shirley, she was face down. I rolled her over, and I thought she was dead. This is the blouse that I wore. They had to cut it off of me. Her clothes were scorched. There's a scar on her neck from gold jewelry that was melted by the strike. Chuck said he thought that my neck looked like it had been cut with a razor blade. And that's what the black line is. That's where the gold had melted right into my, my skin. Richard Kithill says that when a storm threatens an open, exposed area such as a golf course with no cover available, there is one standard precaution to take that involves making yourself as small a target as possible. And that is to get in the so-called lightning safe position with feet together, hands on your ears to provide some safety from the acoustic shock associated with lightning, and not having your feet or your hands on the ground, but rather your feet together and in a tuck like this. And I suppose if you pray, that's a good time to pray as well. One of the most amazing statistics, considering the power and force of a lightning strike, is that an estimated three quarters of all people who are hit by lightning survive it. But they often face a medical establishment that doesn't know how to recognize or treat the after effects. Steve Marshburn was hit by a lightning bolt 28 years ago while he worked at a drive up teller's window at a bank near Jacksonville, North Carolina. There was a loud bang, and it felt like someone had hit me in the back with a baseball bat. I felt my spine would just open up, and uh, the pain was so bad I could hardly bear it. So this life you lead is a life that is completely dominated yes, sir. by that one split-second occurrence in 1969. Yes, sir. 90. Because doctors for years either misdiagnosed his problems or wrote them off, Okay, Marshburn founded Lightning free. Strike and Electric Shock Victims International, a group which now has nearly 600 members and which meets regularly. When Marshburn started collecting their case histories, he found that all the symptoms he had were common to the stories of many other survivors as well. Those problems include headaches and limb pain, seizures and depression, and Marshburn takes seven prescription drugs to control them. Medication is often the only resort if the effects are long-lasting. How do you react when you hear a storm coming now? <laughs> I close the doors, I turn off the lights, like I was taught to do when I was a young child. I don't go outside. 
It's not anything that I've messed with. I fear it. In the past year, NASA has learned from their satellites that there are 50% more lightning strikes than they previously thought. And it turns out that nearly half of those bolts actually divide in two, doubling the danger zone. They now say you're safest when at least five miles away from a storm. So, how do you protect yourself from lightning? Don't talk on the phone during a storm and avoid using home appliances. Lightning can pass through electrical wiring. The two smartest places to be, indoors or inside your car with the windows rolled up. If you're stuck outdoors, keep away from any metal objects and never, never stand under a tree. And finally, wait 30 minutes after you think the storm has passed before you go out. Most lightning strikes occur either at the beginning or at the end of a storm.